All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Sean Porter has lost his mind and says that Errol Spence Jr.'s trainer, Derek James, is overrated and does not deserve to be Fighter of the Year. He even goes so far as to compare Derek James, Errol Spence, and Jermel Charlo to, to uh, Tom Brady and, and Bill Belichick as if there's some overrated person that is working in the system that is just getting all kind of credit that they don't deserve. But the truth of the matter is, Sean probably just mad that um, Derek said some things he don't like and Errol took his belt. But let's talk about all of that in this video. It is definitely going to be fun. Let's talk about it in this video. All right, Sean Porter, former WBC welterweight champion of the world, former IBF welterweight champion of the world, former host of some show on Fox, and currently hosting the Sean Porter podcast. Man, everybody got a podcast, including me. Man, life is good out here for Sean Porter. However, Sean Porter is stepped into the petty mode a little bit today. So. Shout out to Money Brown TV. I was up coming home from my uh, watching a football game. A, a friend of mine's son was playing a football game. And I came back, checked my videos, and there was Money Brown TV with a, with a video. So shout out to you. He was the first person to hit me up on it. So, And I'm really glad I watched it because Sean Porter said, that Derek James, there are a bunch of people saying, hey, who do you think is the trainer of the year? on the podcast. And they were like, Derek James, Derek James. And Sean Porter's like, I don't think it's Derek James. I don't think it's Derek James. I think Derek James is like overrated. He's like, he's like Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. You know, it's like, yeah, they won a lot of championships, but um, you know, how good are they really? Uh, man, they won all them championships. They pretty good, man. That's just what it is. I didn't really get that comparison. However, I do think that I understand Sean Porter's problem that he has with Errol Spence and uh, Derrick James. And to understand that, you have to go back to before the fight that took place between Errol Spence and, Sh and Sean Porter, right? Sean Porter is not, he, it's not like he's answering that question and he does not have connections to Derrick James and the people that he's referring to. So what happened with Sean Porter and Derrick James? Derek James, in the preparation for the fight with Sean Port with, with Errol Spence, was like real loose tongue <laughs> about the relationship between Sean Porter and Sean Porter's trainer, Kenny Porter. Specifically what he said was, or not specifically what he said, but the gist of it was, uh, what most people kind of got from what he was saying, was that Sean Porter's daddy is uh, short, uh, is uh, hurting Sean's career. He's not letting Sean be his own man, you know, and as he's not, because he's not letting him be his, own, be his own man, you know, he's just not as good a fighter as he otherwise would be, <laughs> right? So just took a just big old blast on Sean Porter's daddy. So you know Sean Porter ain't gonna like that, man. Sean Porter's not gonna be into you talking bad about his daddy, especially the guy that talks bad about his daddy that then turned around and took his belt. Because Sean, Errol Spence Jr., who Sean Porter also does not like, and Sean Porter has also let some pretty funny comments, pretty funny comments slide around, like the notion that you beat Errol Spence. Because man, I like Sean Porter as a fighter in that he's a tough guy. He ain't no easy out. But come on, man, you lost the fight. <laughs> you lost the fight. Uh, Errol Spence ain't got to rematch you. It's just what it is, man. Even though he probably will re rematch you. Um, let's just, you know, kind of acknowledge, man, that, that Sean Porter said that because Sean Porter's got sore feelings. But also, besides the sore, just the obvious sore, sore feelings, Sean is ignoring the fact that Derrick James is a shoe-in for this award because there's nobody that is even close this year to competing with him. He has two fighters, if, and this is if, Errol Spence Jr. beats 
Danny Garcia. And especially if Danny Garcia, I mean, Errol Spence beats uh, Danny Garcia by knockout. Because, number one, the belts. And number two, how Derrick James went about getting the fighters to the belts. It shows, number one, accomplishment. But then it also shows versatility in that these are entirely two different situations, these guys. So first and all, let's count the belts, right? He will have, at the if Errol Spence Jr. beats uh, Danny Garcia, Errol, uh, Sean, um, excuse me, Derrick James will have six, five major championship belts and a major designation by Ring Magazine in the ring title at 154 pounds. Because Jamel Charlo just picked up two extra belts and the ring when he beat Jason Rosario this year. That is pretty big. And then if you think that Errol Spence Jr. is able to beat Danny Garcia, who's a former unified champion at 140 pounds, he's a former welterweight champion, and besides just that, Errol Spence Jr. just got in a major car accident where he flipped his car over 12 times. So don't you think that that might actually, you know, be an accomplishment for a trainer, a serious accomplishment for a trainer? I think it does. But having serious accomplishments as a trainer doesn't give you the Trainer of the Year award if there's another f trainer that has done more than you have. So let's think. Is there anybody else, any other trainer that has done more than Derrick James has? My answer to that is, as far as I can see, no. There are a few fighters, there are a few trainers that are typically considered in the pound for pound, not the pound for pound, but the trainer of the year competition. You know, Freddie, Freddie Roach wins trainer of the year every other month. So he, yeah, I know I said he wins trainer of the year every other month. I was just trying to show, trying to communicate that he got it a bunch of times. He didn't deserve it, in my opinion. Because Floyd Mayweather Sr. had a trainer. Floyd Mayweather Jr. had a trainer and won all the fights. But regardless, um, Freddie Roach ain't got anybody doing anything. He's got Manny Pacquiao, but Manny Pacquiao fought last year to beat Keith Thurman. So what is that going to be in this year? Nothing. Eddie Reynoso of Canelo Alvarez. Can with Canelo Alvarez, he has Ray Martinez. Ray Martinez defended his title this year, but he weighs 108 pounds. And Canelo Alvarez more than likely isn't going to fight this year at all. Okay, and if he does fight anybody, it's not going to be anybody major. So exactly who is Eddie, Re Eddie Reynoso is not going to win, win it. So who's going to win it? Antony, uh, excuse me, Anatoly uh, Vasily Lomachenko's father, Anatoly? I mean, I guess he could. His trainer, he is fighting a guy. His, excuse me, his son is fighting for three major championship belts. If he wins that, if he wins it, because he's still going to win it, if he wins it, then what's he going to do? That would match Jermel, uh, uh, Derek James's accomplishments with Jermel Charlo. But what about, but who's this Errol Spence? Who's his other, who's his other top five pound for pound fighter that's winning multiple belts and coming off of, you know, who else, who else? Nobody. So, there isn't anybody that you can name, and even when you listen to Sean Porter talk about it, Sean Porter couldn't name it. He's just like, I don't think he is. I don't feel he is. I don't think he is. I don't feel he is. I got an itch under my ear, and I don't like how that feels. No, he's not. Yeah, he's not because you just don't want to give him credit. But he is if you use your common sense, okay? Um, and then, besides the fact that just didn't anybody, nobody else <laughs> won a championship, you know, I mean, has won, has actually accomplished in terms of, uh, additional uh, titles and a comeback, I guess you could call that for Errol Spence Jr. Besides that, look at how it, look at how Derrick James, the you know the history of Derrick James with the two guys we're talking about. He not only he did two things he he built Floyd Mayweather and excuse me he built Errol Spence Jr. from the ground up like Floyd Mayweather Jr. would compliment his father Floyd Mayweather Sr. for doing. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. said, "Hey man, this is the true." This is the true mark of a great champion. Can you build one from scratch? Well, Derrick James did that, right? Just like you could say Eddie Reynosa did that with Canelo Alvarez. Um, but guess what else? He not only did that, he took a good fighter and he made him great in Jermel Charlo because Jermel Charlo uh, is now and really should be with anybody that is being serious about it 
a top five pound for pound fighter. And that is something else that um that Derek James was able to do this year. So, I mean, when it's all said and done, man, Sean Porter, man, that was funny that he would say it. I mean, I liked it. It was funny listening to him kind of scrabble around, trying to figure out if he could find somebody else. But, man, come on, man. Don't be a hater, man. Like, you know what I mean? Don't, don't be that petty. You know, don't be that petty. If Errol Spence Jr. wins it, he wins it. It is what it is. I know you wanted to beat Errol. You want your belt back. You want another shot. But that doesn't mean you can't give the guy any credit whatsoever, especially when it's so obvious that he deserves it. But that's my take on the matter. Thank you guys so much for listening. And with that, I'm out. Peace.